Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're gonna compare the M2 NVMe SSD drive versus SATA SSD drive versus a 5400 RPM hard drive. We will do a side-by-side -side comparison to see how much SSD NVMe drive is faster than SATA SSD drive and the regular hard drive. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see how much faster these drives are, how many times, and take a guess right now. You can guess like 10 times, 20 times, 100 times, and then you can compare the results at the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This will help me grow the channel and bring you more interesting videos. And also click that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. Thank you very much and let's go. We will do a few tests, we will do a copy test, we will do, do a move test and we will also test these drives against their benchmarks with a special program. I have created a few folders strictly for the purposes of testing. I'm not running any programs in the background so making sure that the computer is not backed up with anything else. So all I'm doing is just doing this test right now and I have created the folder for the NVMe test. I have created a folder for SATA SSD test and for HDD test and we're gonna do copy paste and then we're gonna run a few tests over the benchmarks all right guys so here we go I have created two folders for testing uh, first one we're gonna be doing the test the copy test I got a large file here of almost 8 gigabyte and what we're gonna do is just gonna copy this one and this test is we're gonna just do a copy between two folders on the same NVMe SSD drive see how fast it is so we got about one gigabyte per second which is pretty good and the second test we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, same thing with uh, SATA SSD so there we go I have a SATA there we go so what we're gonna do we're just gonna copy this one copy and paste so this is our SATA SSD I think it's a six gigabyte per gigabit per second bus so yeah you can see like it's pretty steady and stabilized at about 300 going down actually to 220 megabit megabyte per second which is pretty decent but not quite as good as uh, NVMe so on the third test we're gonna do is gonna be HDD we got HDD here. I'm gonna copy this one. And I think you should grab a popcorn right now because it's gonna take forever. <laughs> 8 gigabyte on HDD. I might need to speed it up. Uh oh. Yeah, I was right. So it's about 70, 50, 40, 30. Oh my goodness, this is really slow. Like 35 megabyte per second. I'm gonna have to speed it up because it's gonna be taking forever if I keep it all the same. Yeah, you can absolutely have a nap <laughs> while you copy this file because it, yeah, it's taking forever. And we basically, it's the, the good thing about it is actually it's pretty steady, so it's. It stabilizes at about 35 megabyte per second and it stays like that all the time. Actually after working and <laughs> finishing it off to copy that file it kind of slowed down to 25 megabytes. I think it's got tired or something from spinning. But uh, next test we're gonna do, we're just gonna do the move file and see if it's gonna affect the speed of these uh, files. 
copying so let's just do this we'll go start with the NVMe again now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna delete one of the files and we're just gonna copy it from one folder to another sorry cut it so I'm just gonna go cut paste Wow that's amazing so like if you do the cut between NVMe drives I couldn't even see that it was like a split second 8 gigabyte just didn't even take one second all right that was good so let's do the SATA see how fast SATA can do handle this so I'm just gonna delete this file here I'm gonna do the same thing we're just gonna cut it and paste same thing so it didn't even take a split second and let's do the test the HDD So as we can see the results are instant so it doesn't really matter if you do an SDD or NVMe or HDD so we're just gonna move to the next test. Okay so the third type of test we're gonna do is gonna be a benchmark test and we're gonna be using the Crystal Disk Mark testing program. This is a free software that you can use to test up your uh, hard drive or your SDD any kind of uh, storage device. It allows you to test your storage in different modes, such as sequential or random reading and writing. We're gonna start, of course, with the NVMe SSD, and then we're gonna move forward to the regular SATA SSD and to our most favorite HDD drive. So let's see how the NVMe is gonna perform, and let's start it right now. I'm gonna speed it up 10 times because it's taking quite a while to test it also but as you can see the numbers are appearing right now and we're gonna be getting the results much quicker than if you tested in the real time as we can see the results are pretty impressive and this is what they actually advertise when you buy them they advertise in about 3500 megabyte per second read speed which we can see right now but let's go to the SATA and see how the SATA SSD performs all right, let's start the SATA one. And the SATA is doing exactly the same as it is advertised on the package. They usually advertise it 550 megabyte per second. And this is the upper limit for the SATA 6 gigabit connection. So we can see that they actually, in their artificial test, they do perform as advertised, but in the real world conditions, they don't perform as good all right let's go to our favorite but underdog HDD drive and see how it performs and see how much slower it is actually you can see the numbers are pretty slow you can probably get better results with the 7200 rpm hard drive or even the faster one for the 10,000 and 15,000 rpm ones but we don't have this one right now this is what we have and this is what most laptops used to have not so long ago so we can see how much faster we got now with the new SSD or even with the new NVMe SSD. Just curious what is going to be in the future, how much quicker we're going to get. Alright, now let's take a look at the final results of our benchmark test altogether. As we can see, numbers are pretty impressive here. And of course the new NVMe SSD is uh, by mile far from everybody else. But the SATA SSD is still not too bad and of course the HDD is at the end so let's take a look at the results I calculated how many times one drive is faster than the other as we can see the read and write speed NVMe is approximately five to six times faster than SATA SSD but way 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 faster than the regular HDD so if you guys have an HDD in your computer and your laptop it's definitely worth changing to NVMe if it does support it of course and also the regular SSD is seven times, around seven times faster than the HDD. So you can always upgrade to the new SSD even if you have the HDD because most of the time they use the same kind of connection. So there is no problem for changing 
from HDD to the regular SATA SSD. This is how it looks graphically. We can see how a drastic change between NVMe, SSD and HDD. So you can actually feel the big difference in this results. But what about the real world versus benchmark test? As we can see here in the real world, the results are almost the same as a benchmark. They're not that much difference, but in some cases it's more, in some cases it's less. So really we can tell that it's still pretty obvious which one's faster. So let me know guys what you think about this test and is there any other test that you would like me to do? Also let me know what you think about this new NVMe SSD and if it's worth for you to get one or if you would like to get one. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also click that notification bell so you don't miss other videos. If you want to support my channel please go and watch more videos and I'll make sure to make more interesting and helpful videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video. Bye bye.